All right, so what's up? What's the deal, guys? Welcome to JA News. It's up. For today's show, we're talking upcoming releases. We're covering all your favorite brands, but there's a particular release from Adidas that's buzzing, and they're saying it's the best in the world. And do we have another trophy room situation on our hands as Marcus Jordan gives us an update on the anticipated 2024 release? Are you buying it? Stay tuned, guys. We got all that plus more, and it's coming right up next. All right, all right, so I appreciate y'all. Salute to everybody for tuning in. If you're rocking with JA News, be sure to show some love down below one time by smashing the thumbs up button. Now to kick things off, we got a shock drop on our hands. Of course, yesterday we were just talking about these joints, the Jordan 11, DMP, Gratitude, whatever you wanna call them. Nike decided to hit us with the shock drop today. Now, when it comes to these Jordan 11 annual holiday releases, you have a lot of hits. Some misses, but when it comes to this release in particular, although they did switch out the mesh upper for a new leather finish, I feel like most Jordan fans take that as an upgrade, so this is definitely one of those ones. Now, when it comes to stock numbers, according to Twitter, they're saying there's over 600,000 pairs of men's sizes alone loaded up on the Nike sneakers app, but we'll see how many pairs Nike actually decides to release for this shock drop. And according to the rumor mill, they made over a million pairs of these joints. So it's gonna be a huge holiday release. It's gonna be interesting to see how this whole shock drop situation goes down. Of course, a lot of recent Jordan retro releases have been sitting on the Nike sneakers app, but the Jordan 11 holiday releases are always something special. So we'll see how this whole thing plays out. By the time you're watching this, you should be able to comment if you took a W or a L, or if you just passed up on these joints all together. All right, and with that out the way, let's go ahead and get into some future upcoming sneaker releases. So first up, we have Japanese designer Nigo. He's the founder of Bape, Human Made, and more. Now, ever since he signed his new deal over at Nike, many sneaker fans have been anticipating his very first release. It looks like he just gave us a little teaser as he was spotted rocking a pair of Nike Air Force Threes. Now, this pair in particular is based off the Nike Air Force Three High Escape. So essentially, we have a low top version of those. And while I'm always a fan of innovation, while I'm always pushing for companies to put out new models, I also enjoy when brands dip into their back catalog and bring us a sneaker that's been out of rotation for a while. It's almost like bringing an old model to a new audience. Now, Nike has tried to do this with pairs like the Airship, as well as the Mac Attack, which didn't really seem to hit hard like that with the hype beast audience like that. So we'll see if Nigo's touch can change that and expect them to be releasing more colorways of these joints coming up soon. And we got a first look at what appears to be an upcoming fragment, Nike Air Force One Low. And it seems like based off these early looks, people are very upset about this pair. Now, generally, when it comes to sneaker design, I feel like simplicity is always a great thing, but when it comes to this pair in particular, it seems like a lot of people are fed up after the whole Travis Scott Air Force One situation. We're tired of seeing these Supreme Air Force Ones, and I just feel like the general sneaker audience is just kind of exhausted by these simple Air Force One you know, designs. But when it comes to fragment collabs, at least in the past, they were known to use a more premium material, but it looks like based off these early looks, that's not the case on this pair. And I feel like the only thing that's saving this release for the hype beast audience that they're targeted towards would be if these pairs were super limited. All right, and we got this lovely brand new pair of New Balance 990 V4s. Now this pair is in collaboration with Joe Fresh Goods, who gave us the first teaser via Instagram. So you pretty much got a basic white and black monochromatic, super clean color scheme. But what's even cooler about this pair is the promo images that we've seen so far which it looks like Joe Fresh Goods, he's tapping into that iconic Source magazine cover, which we had Ja Rule, Jay-Z, and DMX at the time. They were about to form this super group, which never happened. Trust me, I know exactly, because I was one of those kids that used to hang up the Source magazines on their wall. So I feel like this is a cool release. Also, it looks like they're teasing this white pair as well, which we see in the promo photo. So two great solid releases from Joe Fresh Goods, apparently on the way. And it's a far cry from his more colorful collabs that we saw in the past. All right, and for Adidas, check this out. They said I got a little buzz going. Most of y'all still don't know who I am. I'm Anthony Edwards, AKA Ant-Man, AKA Young Black King, AKA, aren't you a quarterback? AKA, we on my time now. AKA, I don't believe in anything but myself and you should too. AKA, I'm about to drop your favorite hoopers, favorite hoop shoe. Best in the world, believe that. 
All right, so you gotta love this right here. And I'm even hearing people say this is one of the best sneaker campaigns that they've seen in years. And I love the way how Adidas just kept things simple. Let this man's charisma speak for itself. Now, when it comes to Adidas basketball, while they have many NBA stars on their roster, I feel like their two best upcoming looking sneakers gotta be those Harden 8s as well as these AE ones. But what I feel like separates Anthony Edwards from James Harden has to be his current on the court play. Like, ain't the Clippers currently on a losing streak while my man AE's out here dropping 33 against Golden State for the W. So we got a future NBA star on our hands here. People are already calling him MJ's son. And I've even heard people say this is what it would be like if MJ signed with Adidas back in the day. And what's even cooler, the AE ones are gonna retail for just 120 bucks. So a great looking sneaker. I'm looking to get my hands on one of these colorways. Be on the lookout for these dropping this December. All right, and lastly, before we get up out of here, do we have another trophy room situation on our hands? So if you guys are unfamiliar with Orlando-based retailer Trophy Room, they're owned by Marcus Jordan, the son of Michael Jordan. Now from time to time, just like some other sneaker retailers, Trophy Room, they do Jordan brand collaborations, but you can imagine being the son of Michael Jordan that you probably have a lot more free reign creatively to kind of just do what you want to do. Now, when it comes to Trophy Room in 2021, they dropped the Jordan 1 high that was highly sought after. They dropped this probably arguably right at the peak of the Jordan 1 popularity. And the controversy behind this release is allegedly Marcus Jordan backdoored a majority of the pairs before the actual release, making this sneaker almost virtually impossible to cop for retail. We did a deal with uh, Marcus on the trophy rooms. He backdoored a shit ton of pairs from his store, trophy room. They, they were only taking cash. Him and I pulled together like a couple hundred K and then there was a guy that came pick up the cash, flew to Miami, give the cash to him, and we were, we we're getting boxes of trophy rooms. So I know, crazy, right? Now, earlier this year, we learned that Trophy Room would be bringing back the Jordan 1 collaboration, this time in low top form, set to release early 2024. Now, my man Daydash Kicks, he wrote over on Twitter, so Trophy Room Store is bringing back the same shoe, but a low top, they currently getting backdoored as we speak, in which Marcus Jordan responded to the tweet stating Fugazi cap. Now, was he talking about the sneakers in the picture, which we obviously know or fake or is he responding to the backdoor allegations in which he's actually never been held responsible but at the end of the day he's also never been really proven guilty well except for that whole image you know in the hotel with the pairs and all that but we're not going to get into that anyways but i feel like with this whole trophy room jordan one situation it really all boils down to what this upcoming release actually looks like we know they're jordan one low but we've yet to actually see the images so i feel like if this sneaker isn't hot nobody's really going to care about them and there'll be no room to backdoor this pair so it's really just boils down to what this whole shoe looks like but we'll see how things go come early 2024 so let me know what you guys think about the whole trophy room jordan one situation what are your thoughts on the upcoming ae1 and drop your feedback on the rest of the topics covered today so we're gonna wrap things up right here salute to everybody for tuning in i actually should have a interesting easy update possibly for you guys tomorrow so be sure to subscribe i'll catch y'all tomorrow stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all love